Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII 2. Um, last time we ran around a bunch of places looking at side quests and stuff, and then I foolishly decided to do one of these Academia Quiz Terminals, which was about the stupidest decision I've made in this game, and now I have to do it. I have to beat it because otherwise I'm going to feel bad about welcome myself. We are I feel bad about myself already doing this. Alright, let's see how many of these questions I can remember. <clears throat> What is Saz's unparalleled attack? Cold blood. We've had this one before. <coughs> Correct. Question two. All right. What does Sarah do for a living? Teacher. Congratulations. Question three. Yay. Question three. Oh my gosh. Just falling in. Oh, people. We've had this question too. Once it starts getting into all of that weird pop culture stuff, it's going to be confusing. Who is the brother of the children's favorite superhero, Ultima Ace? Uh, let's go with Ultima Bro this time. <laughs> That's so clever. <laughs> Ultima Bro is the answer. Question five. Sarah. I think she's, get she's getting annoyed. She wants to leave. I agree. What the hell? This again. Red or black? Red, black. Guess red. God damn it! I hate these things. What is with those? Sarah, I don't blame you at all for walking away. I'm surprised you stuck around that long. Okay. This is cold cool blood. Ugh. Yeah, just give it. What is the name of the grand city built by the academy? Academia. We're here right now. Alright, shut up. What's the next one? What is it? A knife. I've had that before. Okay. Also uh, what company became famous for their sales copy? It's Moogle O'Clock. It's time to enjoy Moogle bread. Oh man, I remember... I remember this one from before. I don't think I got the answer right, though. I'm pretty sure I chose the Boko and Coco snacks. Cornelia's buns does... That actually sounds dirty. I'm not going to pick that one. Patisserie Red 13 or Stiltskin's Bakery. Let's go with that one. Oh, thank God it's right. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you call an incompetent person who climbs the corporate ladder? Cactuar, Firework, a Tonberry Soldier. I'm pretty sure I chose both Firework and Tonberry, so let's go with Cactuar. Yes, excellent. Keep it up. Okay, question six. Red or black? Again? Well, I'm picking red again. Oh, good. It was right that time. <laughs> Question seven. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, we found this one. Orion. Okay, okay, here we go. We lost Sarah, but Mog is still with me. The Eden Literary, the Eden Literary Award is handed out uh, only to those who make a positive impact on society. Roderick won the award for which novel? Let's see our people. Slaves of the Foul Sea. Secrets of the Crystals, Welcome to the Underworld. Uh, what? Who the hell is Roderick? Why should I know what Roderick did? Um, I don't know, Secrets of the Crystals. Let's go with that one. Oh my gosh, it was right! Uh -uh, I just threw my hands up in the air. Oh, I'm intelligent, yeah, no, I just picked an answer and it happened to be right. Many chocobos participate in the chocobo races, which of the following does not exist. Chaotic Legend, Soaring Ballad, Lightning Rose, Thunder Chicken. Uh, what? I'm gonna guess Thunder Chicken. Ah, it's gonna be wrong. Oh my gosh, it was right! Yay! <gasps> ah, final question, here we go! 
What was the name of the gambler who won the most number of coins at a slot machine in a single day at the casino Serendipity? Ballad, Strife, Farron, Gabbiani. Huh? Well, Farron, I don't think so. Ballad would be Caius. What the hell would he be doing at a slot machine? Strife or Gabbiani? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna guess Gabbiani. It's gonna be wrong. It's gonna be wrong. Rejoice! Mog is all excited. Look at him. Oh gosh, that was terrible. Did Stoic you know virtue. Terminal locations are accepting entries for unique brain last challenges. If you think you have what it takes, try mastering all the quizzes on offer. Okay. On one hand, I feel like I would. Yeah, I can feel it. It's right here. What is it? Godot's red emblem. Okay. On one hand, I kind of feel like I would rather eat dirt than do another quiz. <laughs> like, seriously, I'd rather go outside right now and eat dirt. But at the same time, my curiosity is getting the better of me. And that's kind of a bad thing. Alright, let's see. Quiz mastery. Stoic virtue. Academy data file. The deterioration of the crystal pillar supporting cocoon continues. Wow, I can talk. And it will only be a matter of years before a complete structural collapse occurs. Academy scientists are moving forward with the plans to create a meat meta shield, not meat shield, uh, an invisible cushion of force that will soften cocoon's impact significantly, thereby minimizing the damage to pulse's surface and preventing a catastrophic upheaval in the lower world's ecosystem. That was totally worth that quiz. Oh yes, it was. I I don't feel like I wasted my time at all. Note the sarcasm. <laughs> all right. Do I dare do another quiz? Do I? Do I? Do we dare do another quiz, Mog? Sarah's What's looking at Chocobo. Like, can we please leave? Maybe it's her time to do a quiz. Maybe I should I should switch to her for a little bit. Oh right, there's that creepy guy back there. No interest in the creepy guy. Let's take the chocobo. Yeah, oh wow, get out of my way. Why is everyone so amazed by the chocobo? Alright, let me look at my map. There's another quiz terminal there, there, one over there. I finished that one. You know what? I'm stubborn. We're going to do these terminals. We're going to do these quizzes. And I'm going to not enjoy it, but we're going to do them. We. Oh man, look how fast he's going. Am I even going in the right direction? I think I am. Am I? facing the wrong way. We want to go this way. The other direction. This way. Excuse me. We don't go there. We go here. Stop shouting. Yes, Chocobo. Good, good observation skills. A plus. You should do one of the quizzes. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Excuse me. I think this way. Up here. There it is. I see it on my map. Oh man, I'm gonna hate myself for this, but we're gonna do it. Hi. Alright, dismount. Wait there, Chocobo. I'm gonna need you to go somewhere else. Alright, here we go. Quiz time. Welcome to At least we got different music this time. Yeah, I know. Accepting entries. Go. Your entry has been accepted. Shut up. Your mind to the task and aim for a perfect score. Shut Here is your up. First question. Okay. After the fall of Cocoon, the public became more and more aware of the truth behind the foul sea and their actions. What part of the truth was fudged in history textbooks? The intent of the foul sea, the year Cocoon was created, the Cactuar's biology, 
proof of Hart's last theorem. What? <laughs> uh, the intent of the bell zoo. Cactuar biology. Question two. Don't push Sarah. Hey, what are you doing, man? Back off. Uh, what project is being criticized by reformist groups for pushing acad academia to become a closed city? Quality of education, ample nursing homes, elimination of foreign trade, uh, various unemployment programs. I would imagine the foreign trade one. Yay! Congratulations. Question Go three. away! Quit harassing her, creeper. Uh, where was Protophile C. Adam created? The Old Cocoon, the Academy Headquarters, Augusta Tower, Grand Pulse Ruins. Well, he was in Augusta Tower, so I'm gonna guess Augusta Tower. Yay! Oh good, also he left. Question four. So did Sarah. <laughs> Heads or tails? Oh my god, this again? Let's go with tails. Boo! I hate those questions. Why are they so dumb? Welcome. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yes, go, go, go. Here is, your Here is my first question. The popular DJ DK sports thick sideburns uh, and a mohawk. What is the name of this hairstyle? The slick back potion hair afro chocobo hair. What? Uh, I, I don't know. Chocobo hair! Oh, that was actually right. What a lame name for hairdo. Okay, question two. What meat is used in the popular hunter's dis dish, Chef's Grudge? Sheep sausages, sweetened pork, fried nectin, cooked tonberry tail. Tonberry tail! Like Tonberry's Grudge. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. What meth ugh. what mythology based movie won the Tantalus Award for Best Film in 328 AF? How should I know this? The King and Incubus from Etro with Love, Breakfast at Eden, Burnhilder on the Cliff. What in the world? Mythology-based movie. Okay. Uh... Mythology-based. Does that mean mythology in terms of the game's mythology, or in terms of mythology in general? Mythology-based. I'm gonna guess Etro. Oh, it was right! Excellent. Also correct. Question four. Oh, Sarah suddenly showed up again. What was the name of the prey that was once held in Nautilus? Somne Cria, Santa Sangre, Pompa Sancta, Purhi Momanoff. I'm gonna guess Pompa Sancta. Because that actually correct. means exactly the parade in Latin. Heads or tails? Tails. Yay! <laughs> Alright. What happens to a sea once they complete their focus? They turn to crystal. They receive gnomish bread. <laughs> what? They learn the ability to run faster than a chocobo. They get to ride in the airships. This is... These other answers are so stupid. How is this question six? Why can't all the question six be like this? They turn to crystal. Correct. Okay. What does the cactuar sign seen at amusement parks imply? Watch out for kids, emergency exits, bathrooms, watch out for monsters. I'm gonna guess emergency exits. Yay! This cactuars right. run away, get it? Huh? Okay. This is going better so far than the last one. Who is the distinguished economist who said humans are merely animals that earn gill? Okay, well, so much for that idea. Gilmay Urkshine, 
Erskine. Erskine. There we go. Gilmore Grant, Gilgamesh Rowan, Gildenstein Rosencrantz. How the hell should I know? Maybe Gilme Erkstein. Well, no, they all have Gil in their name. Gilmore Grant? I don't know. Let's guess Gilmore Grant. No! And I was doing so well. Shut up, I did not have fun. <laughs>